to the Goku of Light Gaming Review. Um, today I'm going to be trying to start a new series called Around Reno. And basically the idea of the series is I'm going to invite some gamers to my house or even go out to GameStop or local different gaming hotspots and meet some gamers, get their ideas and opinions on the different games that are coming out and what they think about their gaming community. They think it's casual, competitive, what are they looking to have so I can do my best to produce better results for Reno. So today's... Uh, Subject is going to be NBA 2K15 for the Xbox One. And uh, me, myself, I've been playing it for a while. I enjoy the game. I'm going to want to get the opinion of another gamer today. So today I'm going to have a special guest. i am be introducing him. Um, he's a neighbor of mine, pretty good at the game. His name is John. He'll be giving you his ideas and opinions of NBA 2K15 on the Xbox One. Hey, I'm John. I usually play PlayStation, but I've just started playing Xbox One. I really... But I really like it. The experience is a lot of fun. So we're going to be talking about the NBA 2K15. So I've played it from 13 to now. Like back in the day, I played like 08. And my cousin just wrecked me at it. And I never was any good at it. You know, so I just, I put it away. And I played other games like Call of Duty or NHL. You know, but this is a game after the, uh, after 2K12, 13 really grabbed my attention, I picked it up, and I started playing, and it's just, it comes natural. You know, you just gotta, people think you just gotta take threes, and, you know, fucking go for dunks. No, you wanna eat the clock, honestly. Like, if you eat the clock, you have more chance with the ball, and if you get rebounds, you get more. So, think of how many points you can get, and all the assists, and, you know, all the stats that you care about when you're playing your career. Usually when I play my career, I play as a power forward. Some people say, oh, I'm gonna be a shooting guard or a point, you know? It's just, you can't be that guy because so many teams have good players in that position. So usually I like to play, when I play online, I play as the Golden State Warriors who are playing the Cavaliers right now. They're winning 12 to nine. And what I've noticed about my favorite team in the game since I've been playing it is that before Curry would hit anything, he would hit any shot that you take with him. And this game, as soon as he gets a little bit of pressure, it's just it, he caves. And there's nothing he could do about what, you know, even if you almost hit it perfect, he won't get it. Thompson, he could have LeBron James or whoever up in his grill, up in his face, and he'll hit threes. And the last ones before that, he wouldn't do that. So that's my favorite team. That's how I review them. It's just, and plus, they get rebounds, good fast break team, and they have two lockdown defenders, an elite and a lockdown defender. They're a late quarter team, so if you're having a slow start at the beginning of the quarter, don't worry. They'll start warming up. They'll get it going. Um, I haven't really played the online experience yet. Usually when I play sports games online, it's always laggy. So, I just, I like playing 1v1 on a screen. And, usually when you get a sports game, you don't get a booklet. So, when you usually get a booklet, yeah, it has the uh, controllers, all the momentum and all that, or all the button selection. All the basic stuff, what buttons you press to do what. And usually, back in the day, they would have all, like, the pictures and... All that, and I've also noticed they took the alley-oop out of the book, so I don't know, I don't remember how to do it, so you would probably have to go online or something to figure that out. But overall, this is a good game. The, uh, the contact's a little delayed. Usually, rebounds, you kind of have to time it just right to get the perfect, you know, rebound, because usually it will just, it seems it goes right through you, like Curry gets rebounds over the sh tallest dudes in the NBA, it's ridiculous. And, you know, it's just, you can't, all right, so 2K14, you could hit those fadeaway jumpers from the right. You can't hit those anymore because they took that out. Now it's, you actually have to have a few seconds of feet plantation and actually get the shot off. Not many guys could hit it on the run. Yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if there's going to be some tournaments out in Reno. Because I haven't really seen the gaming experience out here. And I enjoy playing games. Like, it's my favorite thing to do since I was little. And 
it's a great way to meet people. You meet some fantastic people. You know, you have great conversations. You have that great few minutes of relationship. It doesn't matter, like, what the score is. At the end, you make that one friend. You know, and that's all that matters. You'll remember them probably for, like, the next five minutes until you play someone else. But, <laughs> all right, so usually the passing in the old ones, they would be easy to get. Like, you just press B or square if you're playing PlayStation or Xbox, and you would lean in and just tap the ball away. It would be the easiest thing to do. Now it's not so easy. You actually have to time it perfectly. The pass response is actually quite accurate. They don't throw a lot of crazy Hail Mary passes over their heads like they used to. Like, I've seen two or three since I've played this, and I've played it a few times. And it's kind of cool, you know, I enjoy it. I give it, um, out of 10 stars, I would probably give this a 9. Maybe an 8.5. 8.5, 9. I'm probably going to stick with the 9, though. Um, it was a good game. If you want to, feel free to hit me up on PSN, at your mom's pad. Now here's Goku. So thank you guys for taking the time to check out this video today. This has been a gaming review with Goku of Light around Reno. Pretty much come here once a week. We're going to be dropping these videos once a week. I'm going to try to set a date for Saturday. This one's kind of coming out midweek because it's a new series. But starting this Saturday, look for more videos. I'll be at your local GameStop. Maybe I'll see you if you're interested in getting reviews. Um, be sure to check it out. And if any of you don't know already, there is a Madden tournament coming up. I want to say February 15th, and um, on February 15th, maybe you had a good day of Valentine's Day and you want to spend some time with some friends and play Madden, well, we'll be doing that. Check out GOGReno.com for any kind of local sponsors or organizations that you want to get involved with, or if you just want to sign up for one of our tournaments. We've got a lot of different things going on. Um, we're also making different content every day. Maybe you're an active gamer and you can't find people to hang out with and get involved with. Hit us up. Um, so thank you for your time, and if you have Twitter, be sure to follow us at GLG Community, and have a great day.